Welcome back. Well, there is a newly crowned woman representing our state. The Miss Connecticut pageant was held over the weekend in Ridgefield, and the highly coveted title now belongs to Monica Fenwick, a Watertown native. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank this is you so, so exciting. much. Yes, I'm still on cloud nine. And I was speaking at your school when you were what, in fifth grade? Probably younger. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, I, I love the story because um, your journey to the crown, it's yes. a story of resilience too because it was yes. your fifth time trying? Yeah, it was my fifth time and wow. last year I actually was first runner up. So wow. I was so close, I knew I had to come back and try one more time. Is there, <laughs> there's an age that you can't go past, is it 24 or what, what is it? It is currently 28. 28? Yes, they actually just extended it last year. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah. So tell us about the journey to the crown. What, what, when did you start? How did you do it? What, how do you mm -hmm. prepare for this? I've actually been preparing since I ended Miss Connecticut last year. I knew I was going to come back. I was a little in denial at first, but once I decided it's definitely happening, we hit the ground running right away. There's a lot of interview prep, walking prep, and then a lot of work with my community service initiative as well. So really setting the foundation so when I became Miss Connecticut, I'd be ready and I'm ready to go to Miss America now as well. Which yeah. is incredible. <laughs> you know, and so much of it is the pageants of today are a lot more about your substance yes. and what you're doing. Definitely. Tell us about your mission, because you actually are a speech pathologist. I am as of May I graduated with my master's degree so I can officially say I'm a speech language pathologist yeah. and my work is centered around communication disorders and finding an effective way for everyone to communicate. So I do this through a school tour series, I also host a podcast and I also am putting communication boards in school playgrounds. So these are ways that kids can oh. communicate using gestures instead of verbal communication because we know that social communication is really fostered during play and at recess so that's something small that I'm trying to spread across the entire state. Wow. For, forgive me, I, I, I'm not <laughs> quite familiar with the pageant system. Yes. I do know, was there a talent portion of this? There was. What I was actually play the She's flute. flute yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's so awesome. I've been playing since those St. John's days in fourth grade. <laughs> you see? You see? Everybody out there, listen. <laughs> oh. Learn to play an instrument. It comes in handy. It yeah, does. You yeah. never know. Yeah, you know, um, for young women who might want to get involved in this, yes. why would you say it is something good to do? So initially I began competing because of the scholarship dollars. I was a senior in high school and I knew if I wanted to reach these higher education goals I need to find a way to fund it. So that's why I got involved initially, but what kept me here is actually the sisterhood. So I competed alongside some really amazing women who might be my future bridesmaids one day, and that's why I keep coming back, is that sisterhood and that environment. But you also get the professional development skills that are so crucial to your success in life as well. All right, so you're going to plan for Miss America. I am. What what goes into that? I mean, it just it's, a lot. it's that times 50. <laughs> yes, exactly what I've been doing, but at a higher caliber level. So do you have coach? I mean, you're a lovely speaker. <laughs> and I know with your platform being communication, yes. that's something you want to spread to others. But how do you learn and prepare for all of this? I actually have a prep team. They're really amazing. They organize all the opportunities that I have. And that comes with the title. So that's a really great honor that we have is to work with these really incredible people. So we'll work on interview. We'll work on walking. We'll work on my talent. And just making sure I have the total package when I hit the stage of Miss America. Now, do you have any downtime in the next year? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so grateful to have to be able to say that. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. What do you get? Do you go and do public speaking? You go and yes. do different charity events? What does the year hold in store for you? Whoever wants me at their event can reach out to my team and then I can be there, but I also have some that I'm really excited about. Such as? There's a walk coming up in September for apraxia, and that's one that I'm really excited about because that's actually a communication disorder, and oh, I've nice. actually gone to them as a local title holder, and I said, I'll be there as Miss Connecticut one day, I promise. But also there's a pickle festival coming up and that's one that I've been looking forward to. A pickle festival. Yes, in Connecticut. It's in Where's Berlin. That? Berlin. Berlin. Oh yes. My gosh. <laughs> The pickles are a thing now. Oh, <laughs> they've been a thing for me. Everyone's just joining the trend now. Okay, you've always been a pickle lover. Always. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, so, w for someone who might want to do this and get involved yes. because of the scholarship do yes. dollars or because they want to prepare themselves to speak as well as you, <laughs> what would be their steps? They could reach out to me on social media. So my Instagram and Facebook are Miss America CT. You could reach out to me directly, and I will find a way to get you connected with the people you need to be successful in this organization. Wow, you're willing to help the other young oh, of women. Of course, I've been helped by so many former Miss Connecticut's and former local title holders, and they are part of my success. So I'm ready to spread that to everyone that I can. How, how much does the crown weigh? 
Um, this one's actually kind of nice because it fits my head. The local ones were a little more flat, so I would get headaches, but this one's actually really comfortable. Well, Not it's gonna terrific lie. on you. We wish you much <laughs> Congratulations. Success. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. And it just happened this weekend. Yes. This is all brand new. It's still really new. Yeah, it's That's really exciting. So, you wake up on my Connecticut. Yeah. I keep forgetting and people text me, good morning, Miss Connecticut. I'm like, whoa, this is so cool. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's awesome. That's Congratulations. awesome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Monica has a very busy year ahead. You can follow her journey again on both Facebook and Instagram at Miss America CT. To learn more about the organization, please visit MissCT.org. That is such great. It's, we're so happy for you. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. And still ahead mm -hmm. on Great Day Connecticut.